Now let's look at another example and to do something a little more involved now. I have this shape right here. Okay, so this is my rigid body, a quarter circle. Okay, and here's where I place my x and y coordinates. Right, so the origin is right here. Now, so this is a quarter circle. Now I have an equation to describe this line right here. Yeah, it's a circumference, which is x squared plus y squared equals r squared. Now, r is constant. Okay. All right. So this is r, and this is also r. Okay. So I would like to determine the center of gravity or centroid of this shape right here. Okay. Now, just by looking at it, now if you have a piece of material like this, right, or like a plate. Right, so this is the shape of the quarter circle. Just by feel, you, know, you, you guess that you know center of gravity should be like somewhere like around here, right? Okay. Now center of gravity. Now I always think of, think about center of gravity is that you take you know any shape, right? You were to balance the shape on your finger. That's where center of gravity is located. Okay. So, if you were to take this shape and balance it, that's the center of gravity or centroid. So now, I like to determine the precise location, right, or x bar and y bar of that point. So, I'm going to use the exact same equation, right, and like I said in the last example, in order to carry out this integration, there are three ways to do it, right, it's split into a tiny element, okay, each individual element, and integrate in the x and the y, so double integration, or you can define vertical or horizontal strip. It's up to you. Here I'm gonna use a vertical strip. Okay, so define a strip, and then I'm gonna sweep it okay, from here all the way to this location. Now, as long as I cover the entire area, and I'm good. Okay, so for this strip right here, I have width of dx, okay. and the height of this strip right here okay, is measured from zero, okay, y equals zero, all the way up where it hits this curve, which is y. So, so the height is y, right? So it's a y coordinate. And what else? Let's see. What else do we need? We need x tilde and y tilde, right? Of this strip right here. And for this thin strip, you know exactly where the centroid is for the strip. That's right here, okay? Halfway down. Right? So. This is my x tilde, and this is my y tilde for the strip. Okay, so now let's write down everything. Right? So for x tilde, what is this? x tilde is exactly x, it's simply x, because it's measured from 0 to x coordinate, the x location. So this exactly was equal to x. Y tilde, the centroid location, right? The y coordinate for the centroid of the elemental strip is exactly one half of the height of the strip, which is one half of y. Okay. And what else? Oh, well, we need dA, right? elemental area. So the area of this guy is simply the height, which is y, times dx. So y dx. Okay? Here, from this equation, right, I can rewrite in this form, y equals. Right? So just move everything over, take square root, so this becomes r square minus x squared. So that's my 
y. So I have these three plus this guy right here. So now, put everything into these two equations okay, and see what it looks like. Alright, I'm going to do x bar. So, x tilde dA over area. Now, just to keep things a little cleaner, I'm just going to calculate this guy separately, okay? So, which is the first moment, right? So, let's calculate this first moment. Alright. Replace everything in here. X bar, X tilde is X. DA is Y dx. Alright, so far, no problem, pretty straightforward. Okay, now in order to carry out this integration, oh, we need to replace y in terms of x. Okay, because right now we can't really you know, perform this integration, right? So, I need to bring in this equation right here into here. So y equals square root of r squared minus x squared. Yes. Okay. Now, this form of integral, you should be able to evaluate it. Okay? Because everything in here is x now. And it's integrated with respect to dx. Okay? Now, this might look a little complicated. However, if you remember from calculus, integration by part. Okay. You get by part, what does that mean? Let me get this right here. This guy, this x, right, is related to what's in here. Basically, what's this right here. Now, when you differentiate x squared, you get 2x, right? But particularly minus, okay? minus sign needs to be taken into consideration too, so it becomes minus 2x, right? So I have x up here. So, so I'm almost complete, I'm al almost okay, right? Now, if this is negative 2x, then I'm okay in here. Then I can do the, the integration no problem. Right. So let's do it by part. How you do integration by part is that you define a quantity called u. Okay. So let u be what's inside of this square root, which is r square minus x square. Okay. What happens here? So du right, becomes well, take the um, uh, yeah, the, the du of the whole thing, okay, and then d, this guy right here. Now r is a constant, so d constant is zero. Right? So what's left is this guy right here. So I'm gonna differentiate this guy, so minus x dx. Okay. So you have this right here, and I need to also define the lower and upper limit. Okay, to fill in this. Okay. And so out here, when you integrate with respect to dx, you're integrating from x equals zero to this location, which is r, so that's zero to r. So when x equals zero, what happens to u? Okay, because eventually I'm going to replace x with u. Okay? So when x equals zero, just plug it in here. Okay, so when x equals zero, u equals 
r squared. And when x equals r, what happens here? u equals 0. Okay? So that's for the limit. So now, you can replace okay, everything in here with what you define out here. Right? So, this now becomes All right, so I have square root, right? Um, let's first do this. Okay, I would like to okay have negative two x out here. Okay, so what I do here is on multiply by uh, negative two, and then I need to divide by negative 2. Okay? So, now, great by part, put the whole thing here, bring it, and yes, replace it in. Okay. So I have negative 1 half. This, right here, is simply Square root of u. Okay, so this is square root of u, and this and that is this guy right here. See? So this is exactly du. Okay, so substitute everything in here. So now look at this integral now. That's easy. That's very easy, right? Except now the limits, okay, will no longer be the limits for x. Now it's the limits for u. The lower limits for u, okay, is from r square to zero. Okay. So now square root of u is u raised to the power of one um one half. Okay. So Square zero, so u, right? Of one half u. So do this integration. Negative one half. Okay. So this plus one becomes two over two divided by three over two, which is two times two. Okay, from our square to zero. This. 2 and 2 cancel out. This equals minus. Bring this in here. So this is 0. The whole thing is 0. Minus. Bring r squared in here. So that's your r squared raised to the power 3, 2. Okay. So 0 is 0. Negative negative become positive. So this is r third and don't forget the one third okay so I actually have one third out here so, uh, there you go there you go because this guy survives right so. all right there you go so this is x bar location. Okay? So simply one third okay, of the R third. Okay? Now so what this is the first moment, right? So therefore replace it back into this original equation. So x bar equals in here. So one third of r third divided by area of this quarter circle. Right? 